Hey everybody, it's Jamie Schmidt, and today I'm going to try to walk you through the replacement of a motherboard for a Samsung Tab S. Um, I believe the model number is SM dash, what is it, T700. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Um, so if you are developing a problem with the motherboard, um, m my problem was I got it online used. We got a really good price. It was about 200 bucks. They usually retail for much more than that. Um, and after a while, it started to just die. Whenever I tried to tax it with any type of video, like, or even just basically doing a lot of draw on the power, it just conked out. It would just die and then restart. Even swiping from screen to screen killed it. So after a while, it got so frustrating because it was happening so often, I thought it was the battery. So I opened it up, replaced the battery. It wasn't it. Then they did some more research thinking uh, there was something I was missing and it said that there's actually a problem with the connections to from the battery to the motherboard. And they said some people have tried to resolder them and it worked fine. And since I have the soldering skills of a monkey hyped up on espresso and five hour energy drink, I tried that and it did not work. It probably made matters worse and probably killed it entirely. So it does not fire up anymore, probably because of my soldering. And what I did is I ordered a new motherboard online. You can buy them used on eBay. And actually mine arrived today. That's what it looks like it's not very big at all, actually. When you see it, it's just this piece right here. You see it? And the battery connections are right there. So what I was having a problem with, they, they wanted me to resolder that. And if you look at that, it is not easy to get in there around those other pieces of electronics. If it was more spread out, it would be easier. Um, but like I said, my soldering skills are not strong. So um, I got this for about $40, uh, let me get 45 bucks online. They go from anywhere from 40 to like to 60 bucks. And this one was taken out of one that had a screen problem. So my risk in doing this is that it could possibly have the same um, known defect, even though it wasn't all of them, but some of them had defects where this had happened. Um, they had taken some back, repaired them and sent them back out. So I'm hoping that this one is not one of those. So there is the risk in that, but $40 is a whole lot less than buying a new one of these. So I'm going to give it a try. So, um, getting the tab S open is not that hard. I actually had this kit that I bought and it's a Got a little multi-tools and um, comes with the screwdrivers, the little tiny little screwdrivers. Yeah, can't see that. But it comes with that. But the one that we're really going to need is kind of like this little kind of wedge tool. You can see like right there. See it? Like that. And what you do is basically just you go in between the screen and the bezel or the outside. And you just kind of wedge it in there like that. And then run it all around. That's pretty much it. So it's hard for me to do it without it going overhead, but maybe I'll show you before. But essentially this goes in there and you can kind of see that it's already popping already. There, and I go around. Let's see if I can get it all the way around here. Give me one second here. And basically you're just popping it out of the exterior frame. And you just kind of keep going around, just putting it in there and then just going around like that. You get to the corners that are a little bit more difficult, you pop it, you can kind of see right there, it's already coming apart. And having done this to my Galaxy Note phone to replace the digitizer, I smashed the screen. I've done this before, and the phones are much harder than the tabs because they have a lot more adhesive um, than these did. This one did. But that may mean that this one was opened up before I bought it, but it didn't look like it. And you're getting close. So close. Corner. Pop it. We're done. So now there's only a couple of screws. And it does come with the screws, the little screwdrivers. I prefer a much better, easier to hold. And they got big, big, big hands. So I need to, uh, I like this one. It's more comfortable. So there's only a couple of screws. There's one there and one right up here. Let's see here. Right there. And there's a lot of little tabs that you pop off. Um, and that's really super easy. You can kind of see, so you just pop it like that. Just basically, you, you can use the same tool, this little wedge tool, and go underneath it and pop it off. There's the camera. 
You just pop it off. Look, there's the camera. A picture of a picture. Um, and you basically do the same thing down here in the bottom. There's just a bunch of these things. You just pop it off. Ooh, was it the other one? That was not one. <laughs> Oops. Um, pop it off. And there's a... You can... It's really easy once you get the back on. So, And then there's the battery. So let's take the battery out. It's a big, chunky battery. Same thing with the wedge tool. Down there. Pops it up. And then it lifts right up and out. So, <laughs> you guys can laugh. There's my awful soldering job. Look at that right there. That's horrible. Oh, look at that big old chunk right there. Probably connecting both of those, which is shorting it out. Anyway. Um, here, I'll actually put it right here quick. So, top screw. I'm going to take out. And I'm going to place it in. I'm going to put it in here so you don't lose it in the same orientation. So I'm going to put it top and then the bottom one. Same place. I'm going to set that off to the side. Go carefully. And now it's essentially taking the motherboard out, making sure you've popped all the little connections. I missed one there. So anywhere you see those little things, it's out. That's it. There's really nothing here. So you can see the little tabs where I'm talking about right here. These things, they just snap on to the motherboard. So you just once you get them on, you just push it and it clicks down. Done. Um, so it's not that hard. All right. So bad, bad one out. Good one. In. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pause the video while I do this. Um, just so you guys don't have to sit there and look at all of that stuff. And then we'll kind of take it from there once I get it back together. All right. Hold on. Pause. So I was just thinking of something as I'm putting this uh, motherboard back in is that I've got my screwdriver here and these little tiny screws. See that little guy right there? And one of the things that I don't like is put it on there and it comes off real easily. So one of the tricks that I've learned throughout my years is that, here, let me show you. We got tons of these clips. Maybe you got one on your fridge. See that right there? That's a rare earth magnet. So we break these regularly and consistently. So here's a piece of one right there. This is another one that broke. And what I've done is I always break that open. I just take a wrench and kind of twist the plastic and out pops the rare earth magnet. So we use these to hold things on the fridge. I'm, I'm all for repurposing and they're incredibly strong. So it sticks to the screwdriver just like that. So you see it like that? So what happens when that happens, or what it does when that happens, is that it becomes magnetized. So it also magnetizes the tip. So when you've got these little teeny screws to deal with, guess what? It stays on there and you can put it into the uh, screw the hole without having a problem. So um, if you're tired of dealing with these little teeny little screws like this, um, put a magnet on there like that. See, it stays right on there. So there's a tip and a trick for you right there. So this one's going in. Oh, so much easier. Done. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug in all the little, um, I don't even know what they're called, but plug in all the things that were unplugged for the motherboard which you can visually see. So if I'm not showing that on video, don't panic. It's so, they're so obvious. Um, you just have to unplug them all and then just plug them back in as, as simple as that. So um, just go ahead and plug everything back in and I'll unpause the video in a second. Hey, one thing I almost forgot to tell you is that you need to take off your rear facing camera. This guy right here. See this guy right here? Bling, bling, bling. Same way that you take off everything else. Um, I don't know if I can do this from behind here, but you basically just get underneath there and just pop it, pop it off. And again, the old motherboard, and there's your rear facing camera. So then you just take it right toward the top right here and then just place it in the hole and then plug it in. Done. So, 
All right, another pause. Okay, I'm getting close to putting the battery back in now. And uh, this is the new battery I bought. So it's not a Samsung OEM battery, but it has the same specs. Uh, this is the one that came out of it. So they're pretty big batteries. And they go, it goes right in this big part right here. And one thing I did notice when I took the battery out and I didn't do when I put it back on. All right, so one other thing I wanna tell you about is uh, the battery. So if you ever run into a battery problem, the same technique to get it open is the same one you'd use to actually change out the battery. So this could double as a video to show you how to do that too. Um, this is the old battery that came out of the Samsung. It's a pretty big battery, it's pretty big and flat. And this is the new one. Not an OEM, but it seems to have worked pretty well. The battery charged up fine before it stopped working completely. Um, and uh, one thing I did notice is on the back of it, it's got this kind of like kind of like adhesive glue, kind of like hot glue or something like that. So, and I never glued this one back in when I put it in. So I'm going to fix that right now with just some double-sided scotch tape. So I'm going to put it in there. So just so it stays in there firmly, it's not as big as... Uh, the other one, um, just by only a little bit. So take it like that, put it right in the position. And don't worry about the tape um, holding it down. You actually want it to be held firm in there. Uh, they have these, and the new one does too, the, the generic one does too. But it has a flap that allows you to pull the battery out once you want to change it. So uh, don't worry about it sticking down and not being able to get it out if you do want to do that. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pop the battery in here. I know you guys aren't seeing this, so hopefully you guys get the gist of that it's all just plug and play. And the connection to the battery is just this right here. And you just set it on top and push it down. Sorry, I was painting today for work, so I got paint on my hands. Sorry. Um, and it goes right there. Oh, I need more tape. <laughs> Great video. Oh, I never pushed it. There we go. All right, uh, so now I'm going to put it back together, which is relatively simple. You just make sure you put it on the right side. Don't don't try to put the camera side on the wrong side, and you'll obviously figure that one out pretty quick. So getting this back together is as simple as just pinching it shut. Now everything goes back into place. Okay, so it feels like... Everything is even, so make sure you go around the edge and make sure everything is perfectly flat and you feel the same um, degree of rise out of the bezel of the outside casing around the screen. And if you notice that it's higher, then make sure you, you snap it down. Um, and that's it. So we're back together. You're with me on this here. Moment of truth. <laughs> it's working again. So um, that's a very good thing to see. So, um, yay. Um, oh, I never thought about that. It's going to be completely brand new again. Um, and as far as it's probably not going to recognize me. So it doesn't have any of my information. And there I am, new user. So I'm going to have to go through the entire thing again. So this has been a short video on how to do stuff with the Galaxy Tab S. Hope it helps you. Um, comment below if you have any tips, tricks. I'm pressing buttons, I don't even want to press them, so I'm going to put it down. If you have any tips, tricks, make sure you add them, help other people. If I missed anything, sorry, this is just an amateur thing, DIY, trying, you doing yourself kind of thing. Um, so um, add to the comments below if I missed anything. There may have been different screws that were in here as far as taking more screws out of the motherboard. I have a feeling that somebody probably messed with this before they sold it to me. So it looked like there was a hole for one other screw that I saw in there. So maybe there might be three screws when you open up your motherboard. So, um, anyway, uh, I hope this helps. And for $40, I've resurrected my Tab S. I'll let you know if it hangs out, if it uh, holds up over time and it doesn't develop that same error, though. Fingers crossed. Bye.